For my reading, I'm doing an excerpt from The Lay of Lathian by J.R.R. Tolkien. In that vast shadow, once of yore, Fingolfin stood, his shield he bore with field of heaven's blue, and star of crystal shining pale afar. In overmastering wrath and hate, desperate he smote upon that gate, the gnomish king there standing lone, while endless fortresses of stone engulfed the thin clear ringing keen of silver horn on baldric green. His hopeless challenge dauntless cried Fingolfin there, Come, Open wide, dark king, your ghastly brazen doors. Come forth, whom earth and heaven abhors. Come forth, O monstrous craven lord, and fight with thine own hand and sword. Thou wielder of hosts of banded thralls, thou tyrant leaguered with strong walls, thou foe of gods and elvish race, I wait thee here. Come. Show thy face. Then Morgoth came. For the last time in those great wars he dared to climb. From subterranean throne profound. The rumor of his feet a sound of rumbling earthquake underground. Black armored, towering, iron crowned, he issued forth. His mighty shield, a vast unblazoned sable field, was shadow like a thundercloud, and o'er the gleaming king it bowed. As huge aloft like mace he hurled, that hammer of the underworld groaned. Clinging to ground it tumbled, down like a thunderbolt, and crumbled the rocks beneath it. Smoke up started, a pit yawned, and a fire darted. Fingolfin, like a shooting light beneath a cloud, a stab of white, sprang then aside, and Ringil drew, like ice that gleameth cold and blue, his sword devised of elvish skill to pierce the flesh with deadly chill. With seven wounds it rent his foe, and seven mighty cries of woe rang in the mountains, and the earth quook, and Aingban's trembling army shook. Thrice was Fingolfin with great blows to his knees beaten. Thrice he rose, still leaping up beneath the cloud, aloft to hold star shining proud, his stricken shield, his sundered helm, that dark nor might could overwhelm, till all the earth was burst and rent in pits about him. He was spent. His feet stumbled. He fell to wreck upon the ground. And on his neck a foot like rooted hills was set, and he was crushed, not conquered yet. One last despairing stroke he gave, the mighty foot pale ringil clave about the heel, and black the blood gushed as from smoking fountain flood. Halt goes forever from that stroke, great Morgoth. But... The king he broke.